So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And you're still looking at the camera, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey guys. I'm retarded. <laughs> Hey guys, Joe here. Got my co-pilot on this magic carpet ride, Bebe. You may remember him from my first video. Mm -hmm. Hello! <laughs> He's grown up quite a bit now. Got this crazy long hair. But uh, we're going to start getting after it now, doing some of these videos. I know it's been a long time since I've uh, done any videos. Uh, and I know I was going to get into doing a lot of videos. And I've actually got a bunch saved up, a lot of footage shot need to edit it and uh, start posting things but um, I've been wanting to get into GMRS radio and build a repeater and that's when I ran into Randy at Not a Rubicon Productions and inspired me to also do a video alongside his video series of building a repeater so we're gonna be going through doing that and his YouTube channel is Not a Rubicon Productions I will put the link in the description you guys need to go check him out he's big off-roader uh does a lot of different things and uh he's real big in the gmrs radio uh i guarantee you he's a whole lot more informative than i am and a lot more entertaining i wonder if they're gonna hear that burping yeah. now <laughs> Do you have to do it right? <laughs> okay. Now you're doing it? No, I'm just okay. laughing. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, here we go. What did you eat? <laughs> <sighs> Baby kittens. <laughs> So go check out his channel whenever you can at Not Rubicon Productions. Again, the link will be down in the description for you. And Randy, if you're seeing this, buddy, thanks for coming by. And we'll try to keep the videos brief. Like Randy always says, we would never want to waste your time. <sighs> Ever. So we decided to do these videos because there's not a whole lot of GMRS repeater videos out there and although a repeater is pretty much a repeater there are some differences and things you need to know and um, and the regulations are also different on what frequencies you can be on making sure you're on the GMRS frequencies uh, and what radios you can use so during planning uh, we need to decide the equipment we need to decide uh, where I'm going to put it up uh, how to configure the equipment um, and we do all that by deciding what we're going to use it for. So with our repeater, uh, we're actually looking at doing a private GMRS repeater for a very small radio group in the area. And it is not the most ideal conditions uh, because there's houses everywhere. We have 50-foot pecan trees all over the place, lots of obstruction, um, and the it's pretty flat. It is It is pretty flat. That, that's the good part. But there's so many obstructions everywhere that, that it gives us problems doing radio to radio. But hitting a repeater and rebroadcasting at a higher wattage will hopefully help us out greatly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so our goal is to have a 40 to 50 watt repeater uh, that will take care of our private uh, radio club that we're creating here in the small community. So we need to know what a repeater is, what it's used for, how it works, so that we can build one. And in this application, how we're going to use it. So I've gotten some... Oh, crap. we still got a plan on what equipment to get as well. I've gotten some pieces already. Uh, I've got a diamond antenna that is uh, the X50NA, uh, that one's for repeaters. 
Um, I've got a repeater controller by Surecom, and that's the SR628. Um, I have a duplexer coming in, but let's get into what is a repeater and what it's used for. So quite simply, a repeater uh, allows for a user using a handheld or mobile or base station to uh, send out a transmission, which then it rebroadcasts to other units. Now, one of the main reasons for using a repeater is to extend range. One of these small units can be just a five watt unit that doesn't have a whole lot of power to broadcast out, but it hits that repeater and then gets rebroadcasted at 50 watts, 10 times the power. And that's pretty much what we're looking at doing here. There's several different kinds of repeaters. Uh, we're going to use a duplex repeater system. And uh, the, there's a simplex repeater system that, re that brings in the transmission, records it, and then after you finish transmitting, it turns around and retransmits that message out. So you would actually hear yourself talk. We're going to be doing a duplex uh, repeater system, which in that system, you have a receiving antenna that is connected to the receiving radio. The signal comes in on the antenna to the radio, uh, and then that radio is connected to a transmitting radio. So it comes in on one radio, then the audio of that radio will be sent to the transmitting radio where it will transmit it out on a different frequency. So this creates the duplex or even crossband, as they say, repeaters, which allows you to repeat the message out simultaneously. So in our system, we're gonna have a few different things. One of those being a repeater controller. This allows me to uh, access the repeater remotely. Um, I can use touch tones on my radio, turn the repeater on or off. Uh, it allows me to administrate it remotely. So that's, that's a nice thing. Another thing that we're gonna be implementing in is a duplexer. So instead of having two antennas, a receiving antenna, in a transmitting antenna, I can actually use one antenna, receive and transmit on the same antenna if I put a duplexer in the mix. And that will go here between uh, the antenna and the two radios, the receiving radio and the transmitting radio. So what that duplexer does is it keeps interference from happening between the transmitting and receiving radio as well as the incoming signals. It keeps everything where it's supposed to be going and um, separates the signals so that it, it is taken care of properly. Um, there's a whole lot more to it than that. Um, there's a lot of science involved and, and also in tuning these things correctly. Not That's going to be outside my scope on this video, but, um, but that's what we're going to be putting in. So it's going to be a little simpler and there's not a whole lot to it. Like I said, there's, there's, this is quite a simple process, and uh, and this with a little bit of re research, um, this is something that anybody can do. So we're going to be talking about a lot of things during these videos, and uh, I've done a lot of research. So if any time during these video series uh, that I misspeak or um, have some misinformation, incorrect information, just keep it to yourself. Now, post comments letting us know what needs to be corrected. Shut your mouth. Uh, so we can get the right information out there. And also, I know a lot of us are waiting for the FCC to drop the fee from $70 to 35 which they've already released that they're going to do. We're just waiting for it to go active. At the time of this video, it was still $70. <laughs> so we've already got our antenna, the duplexer, and the repeater controller. We need radios. I've reached out to a couple of manufacturers just to see if they'd be interested in sponsoring and sending us some radios. Haven't heard back as of yet, and I really don't expect 
to hear back from anybody, given that this is not a large YouTube channel. But if you are a manufacturer or a supplier of GMRS radios and you would like for us to use your products, don't hesitate to contact me and we'll get them on in there. So at this time, we're actually looking at uh, different radios that we could use for this GMRS repeater setup. Now, I know Randy has said that GMRS radios have to be 95E compliant. And he's right. They do. Since the reform. And I'm going to have a whole other video about that coming up on what radios you can use for GMRS. Um, and it's not just 95E. I know, I know. But I've got actual sources from the FCC that I will be listing in a video and showing where you can see these yourself on what else can be used. And of course we know and the FCC knows that most repeater systems are built on part 90 radios although that they're not specifically listed that they can be used in that. So in my repeater build I wanted to broadcast at near 50 watts since that's the max. So 40 to 50 is fine with me. Uh, so I've gotten on the FCC website and I've got the list of 95E uh, certified radios that have a output range of 40 to 50 watts. Um, and I've also got a list of Part 95A legacy uh, radios. This is before the GMRS or the personal radio service reform uh, radios. I'm going through those to see which ones are 40 to 50 watts and are still available. And I've also got a list of Part 90 radios um, to look at for the receiving radio because you don't have to have a Part 95E radio for the receiving radio. Only states the transmitting radio has to be. So 95E, 95As is what I'm looking at for transmitting and those or a Part 90 certified receiving radio uh, will do just fine. And I'm going through the list that I've downloaded from the FCC's website in Excel. Uh, so it's taken me quite a bit of time and I may even post those later for everybody uh, that may want to go through and look at those to see what radios are out there, what are available, and if I've got the pricing at the time I'll stick it on there too. And as I get more of this equipment in we'll be going through them. We won't be doing any unboxing because unboxing videos are stupid. Sorry Lou. We won't be doing any deboxing because deboxing videos are stupid. Sorry, Randy. Instead, we will be exposing what's inside these packages when they come in because it's not the same thing. Okay. Now, I know many of us are waiting on the FCC to drop the price on the GMRS license. Again, the license currently is $70 at the time of shooting this video. Has not dropped it as of yet, but it is going down to $35 and that license will be good for 10 years and it's good for your immediate family. So it covers your immediate family and by FCC, the definition for immediate family when it pertains to GMRS is the licensee spouse, children, grandchildren, stepchildren, parents, grandparents, stepparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and in-laws. It's a lot of people. Yes. I get the one license and all those people can use the radios. Well, everybody. Did it say cousins? Oh, well, that's a part of your family. No, it has to be in here. Children, grandchildren, stepchildren, parents, grandparents, stepparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, mm -hmm. nieces, nephews. My nephew. Yeah. So it wouldn't be co my cousin couldn't do it, but my nephew could. That's Liam. Mm, yeah. So I can't let Pete and Casey do it, but I can let Liam do it. That's stupid. Why can't you let your cousins do it? I don't know. 
I will try to give references to everything that I use in the video. If I found it somewhere else, I'll try to put it down in the description of the video so you guys can easily get to it. If there's something that I didn't list or forgot to list on there and you're looking for where I found it, just throw it in the comments and I'll get it to you as soon as possible. So that's it for wrapping up this video. Um, if you have questions or want to see something in particular in one of the videos uh, coming up, then definitely comment down, let us know, and we'll see about getting that in there. So this is Joe. This is Baylor. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> we would never want to race, waste you. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I'm trying to. Okay.